guys, the Mozzie Villain. Welcome to episode 59 of our Heart and Middleothian save. Our bid to take the club to the top of Scottish football. And today, we couldn't go to the top of Scottish football, but we can go into the Champions League qualifying rounds. So if you missed last episode, it was uh, we realised that uh, if we come second in the league, we'll actually go into the qualifying rounds for next year's Champions League. Now, we're playing Rangers away from home. They're the favourite. You'd expect that because they're better than us. Um... Well, not in theory, they have more money than us, let's say that. And uh, we're also going to play Hamilton this episode as well. Now, if we def avoid defeat to Rangers, we'll have guaranteed second. If we lose to Rangers and win at one of our last games, either against Hamilton or Inverness, we will again guarantee ourselves Champions League football. So win, lose, or draw this game against Rangers, we could still do it away to Hamilton. But let's face it, we want to do it by not losing to Rangers, don't we? Um, yeah, so this is... An unexpected, very, very exciting episode, potentially up ahead here. Now, as I said, Rangers are the favourites. We know what to expect. That uh, Koku is still the manager. A balanced playing mentality, a direct playing style. They haven't. They don't change. They don't change. We just need to figure out the best way to beat them. Uh, we can see all their ins and outs of their team play there. And I, we're going to go similar to how we went against Celtic uh, last time out. If you missed that, we sort of decided to play them on the counter attack. So this is a team. Teddy Smith still isn't quite back from his injury. We could maybe play him, but I figure there's no point really risking a, a, a more serious injury or relapse. So we're going to keep uh, Connor Hazard in goal. It's going to be Taylor, O'Connor, Coping, and Johnson as the back four. Smalley continues in his anchorman role with Dominguez and Cochran in midfield. Actually, we probably want to switch those two around, don't we, ideally? Um, then we're going to have Glover and, uh, and Claire down the wings. They've both been doing really, really well with Uche up top. Now, how we're changing this from Celtic, this is sort of all going to be roughly the same. The main thing is that we're going to be a bit more direct, a bit higher tempo. Uh, and the big change uh, that we've made is here, we're going to sit deeper. We've seen time and time again, Rangers get in behind us. So we're going to sit deeper. Hopefully our fullbacks won't be exposed. Um, and that is kind of how I plan on beating them. Just really sitting back, being compact, and then trying to hit them on the break. The main difference, because Celtic were a passing team, so we had a higher line. And don't get me wrong, I still feel we were really unlucky to lose to Celtic, even though the final score was 3-0. Um, I think we could have at least got a draw out of that game on another day. We have nothing to lose here. That's what we're capable of. I think I like that. Um, I am very sick of losing to the Glasgow teams, but I know that we're capable of better. And here we go, here we go. Oh, it's, could this be, could this be the day? Um, now, a quick update on Celtic. They, as I said last episode, they were in the semi-finals of the Europa League. They are now in the final of the Europa League. They beat Sparta Prague. I think it was 5-1 on aggregate, so they absolutely walked it. Uh, and they will be playing Manchester United in the final. So that'll be interesting to see how they go. Um, but like I said last episode as well, it's really frustrating that we are losing to Celtic, but... I think we are, I think, 81 points. So we've already done better in our points tally than last year. So we have actually improved, even though it doesn't necessarily feel like it. Uh, and then on top of that, um, Celtic are just a genuinely, they're you know, a good team by European standards. So there's no real shame in, in losing to them so heavily in the league. We're a little bit uh, away, please. Boys, oh, that is away. Can we get on the end of this? I don't like sitting so deep. Um, I wonder if we should be maybe getting out and putting a bit more pressure on them. It's not a good header from Dominguez. Get in front of that, mate. Oh, Need to be a little bit better defensively. I'm wondering if we should go out and put pressure on them. Maybe not have our lines quite so compact here. Uh, that's the first we've really seen of them. So we won't sort of panic and change everything based on one highlight. But, yeah, not a massive fan of seeing them just count in our area there. Here we go again. Hazard's there. He is good at, at claiming. That's what his big strength is his strength in the air. Uh, Aberdeen's taking the lead against Hamilton. That doesn't really matter to us, as I, you've seen on the league table. The top three, us and the two uh, Glasgow teams, are so far ahead of everybody else in the league that I think we wrapped up third place about a month and a half ago. There's a decent ball into the area, and that's over the bar as well. I am going to try. I feel like we're just a little bit too passive here, perhaps. Let's just go and put a little bit of pressure on them, perhaps. Um, being a direct team, maybe sitting back is just... I don't know... I don't know. Let's give it another get creative. It's, I mean, it has been okay. Possession's been roughly even. There's only been two highlights, and we've seen they've both been for them. But let's remember, a draw does the trick here for us. A draw puts us into the Champions League qualifying rounds. Um, what do we say to that? Um, do we do maybe an assertive... Uh, is it just like we're doing well, we can... We've been the better team. I'm, far from, I'm not far from pleased. Unlucky. Maybe we do an assertive. I'm happy with the performance so far. That seems to have worked. Um, so let's just get back out there with that. I've never done an assertive. I'm happy. That seems like 
Seems like you're being yelled at while being told you're doing a good job, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's another Rangers highlight. Now, we saw second half against Celtic. We did okay in the first half, and we absolutely collapsed second half. Oh, Connor Hazard, mate. Please, please, let's try to demand more here uh, and see if we can push on a little bit. Halftime team talks against the... What is that? We've missed a header at the near post. It was Dominguez, I think. He's number eight, isn't he? And we're 1-0 down. It's going to happen again, isn't it? We do a decent job in the first half against a Glasgow team. The halftime team talk just seems to really... Yeah, that's a bad miss header too. Dominguez, come on, mate. You're going to need to do better than that at Real Madrid. That is not what was needed. All right, can we come straight back at the Dominguez? It's there. It's Bobby coping. It's off the post. Oh, how have we not got someone there just to stick a shoelace on it? Unlucky, unlucky. You can That almost sums it up, doesn't it? We miss a header at one end, the other end. And we have a chance. We just can't quite force it over the line. Um... I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, what can we do here? Let's, I didn't really mean to say concentrate, and that hasn't really worked in any case. Um, all right, I'm wondering if we need to go just maybe a little, we'll keep the tactics roughly the same, but I'm wondering, let's bring Curtis Jones on for Smalley, stick him up in there, uh, put Dominguez back to box to box, uh, get Jones going as the advanced playmaker getting forward, we'll keep everything else the same, um, I'm wondering if we just need a little bit more of an attacking threat because we really haven't seen anything from us, have we? Just the one corner is the only thing we've really offered here. Uh, we do need to get back on level terms, of course, if we're going to do it today. Let's give it another get creative. Uche is looking anxious. We do have Ines Cameron on the bench. If Uche is not having a great day, it's from a set piece again. We somehow kept that out. Um, if Uche is not having a great day, maybe we do need to look at... Um, at replacing him. Here we go. Now, the highlight looks like it's going to continue here. Curtis Jones picks it up. I did put him on the bench instead of Hartford. There's a decent looking pass. Just quite quite bend it in behind the defense there for Uche. Uh, of course, he can also cover the right side. So that was the thinking on that one. Here we go with Morales. We know he does score a lot of goals against us. It's Ryan Jack. It's their fullback getting forward. He's got three of his men. He pulls it back. And it's 2-0. And I still have not come up with a way to beat Glasgow Rangers with Philip Koku in charge. Um, I don't really like playing the deep line. I Maybe I shouldn't have bothered doing it. Um, let's go back to playing out from the back. Basically undo everything I've done that's tried. <laughs> that we've tried. Uh, let's try that. Let's, we need to be more expressive. Let's work the ball into the box. And see where that gets us, I guess. Um, I don't need to see it again. We're just, it's just getting caught out at fullback, isn't it? Time and time again. Let's bring Dimitri Mitchell on, try and get a little bit more attacking thrust out of our fullbacks. Um, we'll get them forward again. And it's not been a day for Claire off. We don't really have someone to replace Claire with. Um, so let's take Uche off for Innes Cameron, see if he can make the difference. But it's not looking great, is it? Let's demand more. Here we go here. Parnell Johnson gets the cross in. It's headed away. Cochrane's there. Come on, boys. Here we go. Dominguez. That's a decent-looking pass out there. Look at the space Mitchell has. Dimitri Mitchell. He crosses block. Oh, it's what happened. Is it a penalty? It is a penalty. Wait, oh, someone, there's been a tug on a shirt in the box, and this could get us back in the game. Middleton's come on. He always scores against us. Who's taking the penalty? It's Glover. Come on, Glover. In the back of the net. All right. All right. We're suddenly one goal away again from booking our spot in the Champions League. We already hit a demand more, which is fine. That's pretty much what I would have wanted to say in any case. Um... Now, the annoying thing about this is we've basically gone back to playing the way we normally play. When we did that against Rangers in the sort of the last uh, of our fixtures with them before the split, we got absolutely played off the park. Now, we do it again here, and we've got ourselves back into the game. So that's really frustrating. <laughs> this is, I'm not really getting clear messages here of how we need to go about beating Rangers. There's a ball. Johnson heads it down for Coping. Now, we know Coping's a decent ball player. He's gone short there for Cochrane on this occasion. Dominguez up for Jones, out for Johnson. There we go with Glover. Can we get a cross into the box? He's gone short for Jones. Jones, a little bit of space to work in. He goes short for Claire. And there for Dominguez. Come on, boys. Can we work a space here? There it is there for Dimitri Mitchell. Mitchell gets the cross. It's a good one. It's the back post. And we've... Oh, he's offside, is he? Oh, I'd like to see that again. Surely Ryan Glover was not offside there. Tell me it isn't so. Demand more, boys. This is good. Oh, no, that's not offside. The centre-back's playing him on. Surely, surely. Where's the advantage to the attacking team? 
Oh, that is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. We've got five minutes of stoppage time, so there is still time here for us to do this. I look back now, that silly Dominguez misheader from the corner. How how important is that going to be? Um, come on, boys. Can we win this high up the field? You just feel like they're waiting for us to get too adventurous in our pressing and they're going to ping us one. We know they're a danger in behind with Morales. He is quick, but the risk we've got to run here, unfortunately, is because we are chasing the game, is trying to win the ball back. Again, they get in behind the fullback. Oh, you've got to go with him a little bit better, Glover. Cross comes in. Coping's there. Well done, mate. Good defensive clearance. It's still there with Rangers, though. Can we get in front of Middleton? Shot. We can't. And we've got to sign Middleton back because he, how, he scored 12 goals. I think 10 of them are against us. Oh, and that's, that's probably that, isn't it? I still think it's absolutely BS that we've had to play Celtic and Rangers three times away from home. Surely, if when it comes to the split, you should play so it's even at four and four for the season. I still don't understand why that hasn't been the case. But it doesn't really change the fact that we have been completely outplayed here today. Yet again, our match ratings are not good. Porty O'Connor's there. He heads it. Wins the header, but way, way wide of the goal. And... Uh, it would have been really, really nice to have got the draw here. And again, let me know what you think in the comments of that disallowed goal. Of, I still think that was being, was being played on side by the centre-back. Um, I'm not happy with that. I don't care what the assistant says. Look at those match ratings. It was poor again. Maybe, again, the, I've got to look at my half-time team talks against the Glasgow teams. Because I think we are definitely worse second half against them, aren't we? And that is almost certainly down to, to my half-time team talk. Um, but there we go. We've got another game to come against Hamilton. We are four points clear with two games to go. If we match Rangers result in this next game, we are in the Champions League qualifying rounds. Come back. We'll see how we go. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. It all comes down to this. Our old nemesis club, Hamilton. If we beat them or if we just got to match Rangers result. Now, Rangers are at home to Celtic. So there's got to be a chance. There's got to be a chance that they don't win that game, doesn't there? What's really annoying me, look at this. We've lost seven games this year. They have all been to the Glasgow clubs, um, which is really, really frustrating, needless to say. Well, there's only, what, there's only six, five there. So there's another two. I'm pretty, maybe we lost one to someone else somewhere along the line. But the important thing here we need to remember now is that we just need to match Rangers results. We're away to Hamilton, as I said. We are the favourites. Our last game was at home to Inverness, so you'd like to think we could maybe, if we don't get the job done here, get the job done there. But Brian Rice is still the manager, attacking, standard playing style. They used to be direct, so they have made a bit of a change there. We're expecting them to come out in the old 4-3-3 uh, four, three, three narrow, this sort of formation. That's what we're expecting from them. Um, so whether or not we can sort of take all this information for granted, or, or not for granted, but sort of as useful. Uh, time will tell. Now, this is a team that we're sending out. One or two changes here. Uh, Smith comes back into goal. He's uh, fit for this one. Mitchell comes back in with O'Connor coping, and Usi Tutu. Johnson has a bit of a bruised ankle, I think it was, so he's not really fit, so we'll go with Usi Tutu for this one. Cochran and Turnbull come together again in midfield. It's Glover. Hartford comes back in with Claire, with Uche up top. Uh, here we are, 90 minutes away, a win, and we're in the Champions League. So they are playing the, the old 4-4-3 narrow as we, as we expected. So that's as I said, nothing that we didn't expect. But we have struggled at times against this formation. Um, we must improve from last outing. Um, come on, lads, we can qualify for Europe. Um, just go out there, relax. I expect a much better performance from you tonight. Let's go with that. Some calm, we have faith. Um, the, the match ratings weren't good last time, were they? I think that's a disappointing thing, or the most disappointing thing. The performance really wasn't too bad. We defended well in the first half. It was a defensive error from a corner. Um, when we went for it, then a little bit, we got exposed. But, you know, I don't think the, before, the, the mat team performance wasn't too bad. As I said, the match ratings weren't great. Now, oh, Rangers have taken the lead. You little... F I shouldn't swear. The little blue bastards. Um... Now, a couple of uh, information pieces for transfer news. Uh, we are looking to get uh, Curtis Jones back on loan next year, as well as Dominguez. Uh, we, both of them, the clubs at Real Madrid and Liverpool, are happy to loan them back to us and not expecting a wage contribution. So that's amazing. Here we go with Cochrane. Back post. It's headed away. Glover's there. Now, speaking of Glover, cross in. Uche! Just over the bar. Speaking of Glover, uh, we did try to get him back as well. Bournemouth want to use him in their first team next year, so it doesn't look like that's going to happen. The other lonely player that we had, of course, was um, was Smalley, the defensive midfielder. I'm not sure if we want to get him back or not yet. Um, I don't even know if he would come back or not, to be honest, because we haven't used him that much. He was sort of more just for 
uh, Europe and the um, and the Glasgow teams. Rangers is winning 2-0 now. That is really annoying. We're going to have to go and win this game. There's a decent ball for Uche, but a decent tackle as well. Um, yeah, it looks like we, Celtic's going to let us down just when we wanted them to win. Uh, of course, this will end their unbeaten run, so that's maybe a good thing. Here we go, Hartford. The weak header. It's Clare. Can Clare square it back? He goes himself and Sean Clare. Sean Clare gets his 12th of the year, and that is very much what was needed. Very, very well done, boys. That as it thing, things stand. As long as we win, Rangers can beat Celtic 15-0, and it won't make a jot of difference because we will be in the Champions League qualifying rounds for next year. Good finish from Sean Clare too, wasn't it? Excellent, excellent stuff. Um, now, of course, next episode will be the last episode of the season, which means, of course, end of season awards. Who is going to be our player of the year this year? Will it once again go to Uche? And given that he won was with 80% of the vote last year, you'd have to think he's a chance. But who do you think is going to be in with a shout? Dimitri Mitchell. If he doesn't in the top three in voting this year, then I just might rage quit the club because he has been absolutely sensational this year, hasn't he? He's added goals to his assists from left back. Um, what do we want to say? Don't get complacent, I think. Um, yeah, he's added goals to his game. I just feel like he's got to be in the top three. Other chances, I feel like we've had quite a few good midfielders this year. I think Cochrane's had a good year. Turnbull's had a decent year. Claire, the two low knees, Glover and uh, and Jones have had good years as well. Um, the centre-backs have been pretty solid. Teddy Smith's been pretty solid. We've had a lot of good players. There's a good ball for Usi Tutu. Usi Tutu! Oh. Just over there. He scored a cracker against Hamilton last year. If it wasn't goal of the season, it was very much in the conversation. But that one, just over the bar. Uche, is, he's taken the summer off, it looks like. Um, let's bring Innes Cameron on for him. And we'll leave it at that. Still gives us two subs to play with. I mean, even uh, Ewan Henderson is... I mean, Claire's been playing lately on the left side, but he's done quite well as well. So we've got... We really want the second goal here. Look at this. We're dominating the game. But as things stand, if we were to concede a goal, Celtic's on the comeback as well. Go on, Botheim. Um, come on, boys. Come on. Let's get a little bit of passion going here. Let's start and just close this thing down ever so slightly. We'll leave Dimitri Mitchell on, though. I'm tempted to bring on the more defensively minded Greg Taylor. Um, come on, boys. Come on. Come on. We're, we're minutes away. We're minutes away. Let's start and close it down. Oh, can you imagine? Hearts in the Champions League. It'll be really tough to get through the qualifying rounds, but we showed last year that we are decent enough against European opposition. I think this is it. It's Harry Cochran. Can we get a second goal? It's towards goals over the bar, but that should do it. It should do it. It's not convincing, but boys, we're in the Champions League qualifying rounds for next year. We deserved a more comfortable win, I think, but in the end, it's Sean Clare's strike that seals it for us. We are Champions League. I said we are Champions League. So there we go, we have qualified and unexpected, I didn't even know it was an option for second in the league, but the 2022 Champions Cup, we are in the qualifying rounds. An initial budget, 120 grand a week, just under 10 million to spend on transfers. We are going to go big this summer. If there's a chance we can get in that Champions League group stage with all that money, we have to take it, don't we? And we've seen that at the end of this year, Rangers have come back at us really, really hard. If we need, we need to invest, we need to go big, and I think we'll be doing just that. But there we go. That is it for this episode. If we go back and have a look at the Premiership, I think uh, Rangers did end up hanging on. They did. So Celtics finally lost the game. Um, so that's good news for the league. But there we are, four points ahead with one game to play. Excellent, excellent stuff. Well done, everybody. If you have enjoyed that episode, please do hit thumbs up. And of course, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and of course, ring the bell if you want to know when we want to upload new episodes. We will be back tomorrow. The last game in the in the league doesn't really mean too much. I might look to give some of our really high-profile youngsters here. I might look to give them a game and just see you know, what we can do. Well, some of these guys that I put in for match fitness. But you know what I mean, the youngsters that we have coming through. It'll be very much a rotated team. Give the youngsters a run out against Inverness, saving everybody ready for Celtic in the Scottish Cup final. I'm not completely sure how we're going to go about beating them. I'm going to have to lose some sleep over it. We need to improve, don't we? We've been beaten soundly by them the last few times we've played them. Uh, but that's all for tomorrow, guys, and the end of season awards. Don't forget to let me know who you think the player of the year will be. But until tomorrow, I've been Aussieville, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.